Drew Blank? Yes. This is Dr. Sturden's office. I'm calling to remind you about your dental appointment tomorrow uh, morning. Okay, I can... Mr. Blank. Yes? You've missed your last three appointments, Mr. Blank. Uh, yes, I know. I, I mean, I mean I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I must have forgotten. It's only a filling, Mr. Mm. Blank. So you'll be here tomorrow, 10 a.m. sharp? I promise. I'll be so there. It'll make up for all my missed appointments. I don't care what you do, Mr. Blank, as long as you don't forget again. Yes, yes, I, I remember, I remember. All right, Drew, I'm sorry. But if you remember, then why aren't you... Oh, whoops. Oh, I'm sorry, Maxine. I, I, I thought you were... Oh, uh, why aren't I what? Your meeting with Schmaltz, it started ten minutes ago. I'm so dead! In my day, being late for a meeting with one's superiors was grounds for immediate dismissal. See that it doesn't happen again. Yes, sir, Mr. Schmaltz. I'm sorry. Now then, I'm sure you're aware that this season marks the 10th anniversary of the Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun Show. Frankly, we've milked this formula long enough. Bun Bun needs a boost. It needs revitalizing. It needs a shot in the arm. Oh, yeah, yeah. A shot in the arm, yes, sir. Sure does. And since Bun Bun's your creation, I want you to personally administer this revitalizing shot. Thank you, sir. Here's how I see it. We create a big batch of happy, cute bunnies to share the spotlight with Bun Bun. It's an all new show and we call it Fluffy and Friends. After all, if one bun can carry a company like Sam Schmaltzing for 10 years, a whole truckload of the things has got to be a gold mine. 24 carat. <laughs> Get it? Yes, terrific idea. But it's exactly what the show needs, uh, more bunnies. Of course it's a terrific idea. That's why I get paid the big bucks. Well, what are you waiting for? Go make. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, yes, sir. I want the new characters on my desk first thing tomorrow morning. And this time, don't be late. Tomorrow morning. First thing, yes. Okay. Rabbits. More sweet, friendly rabbits. Rabbits that do nice things. Rabbits that not only care. Shit. Must focus on bunnies. <sighs> hey, kitties! Let's get hap hap happy! It's fluffy, fluffy bun bun time! Oh no! What are you doing on at four o'clock in the morning anyway? What are you 
doing here? Look, Flux, I, I can't be here. I mean, I can't stay here. It's just not right. I, I don't fit in. Besides, oh God, I've got one mother and a deadline hanging over my head. And apparently, a lifetime of therapy to look forward to. So please, just slap me or, or tell me there's no place like home or do whatever it takes to get me out of here. Well, I guess. If it means that much to you. So, you mean you do know how to get me home? Hell no! I have problems finding my own way home. But I do know a guy who might be able to help. So you see, King Hugh, your wonderfulness, Drew needs to get back home. Can you help him, can you, huh? Oh, dear, dear, dear. I'm so sorry for all the trouble you've been through. Uh, of course I'll help you find your way home. Told you. Thank you, your majesty. But uh, there's just one teensy-weensy little problem. Let me explain. We are here, Qtopia. That's where I live. That's where I live, right there. Zany do. It's kind of like an offshore asylum, but to me, it's always been home. <laughs> <clears throat> Back to you, your benevolence. Yes. As I was saying, we are here in Qtopia, home of the happy, helpful Qtopians. And, of course, they're good and just king. It's me. We were all so very, very happy until we fell under attack by a very wicked man, Count Nefarious. <laughs> Don't even like to look at him. <laughs> Who would? Nefarious is ruler of the Malevolands and its dismal denizens. He has perfected a Malevolator. Hey, that's the thing that took a shot at me! It's a terrible flying weapon of Nefarious' own invention. The Malevolator shoots a powerful ray that corrupts everything it touches, turning all that is sweet and pleasant into all that is sinister and ugly. So, I'm afraid, Mr. Drew, we really need you to help us before we can help you. But how could I possibly help? My Brave spies have stolen the blueprints for Nefarious's bad, bad machine. My royal engineer is using these plans to build a cutifier, a device which will reverse the damage Nefarious has done. Mr. Drew, please, I need you to help us finish the cutifier so that we can end Nefarious's reign of terror and make the world a happy place. And then, I promise you, I will do everything in my power to help you get home. Don't worry, your benevolence. We'll save you. Won't we? Mr. Drew? Sure, your highness. I, I, I'd be happy to help. Absolutely splendid. Thank you, friend. You can't possibly understand what this means to me and my kingdom. Before you leave the castle, please stop by my laboratory so my engineer can show you the cutifier. And remember, all of Qtopia is counting on you. The door is to King Hugh's throne room. Hello! Hello. We're looking for the Royal Engineer. Really? I'm looking for my glasses. Oh. Well, if you see the Engineer, would you tell him we're looking for him? I will. But he's rather preoccupied right now. He's lost his glasses. Now where can they be? Excuse me. 
Could we have a word with you? Certainly. Which word would you like? May I recommend? Goodbye. I'll come back later. I wouldn't want to interrupt your train of thought. <laughs> that guy's a bad pun waiting to happen. Yeah, but he's a lot bigger than us, so we'd better toe the line. Bigger than us? He's only a foot tall. We're back again. Very good, sir. May I say, sir has an unrivaled mastery of stating the obvious. King Hugh sure has a lot of trophies. Well done, sir. A keen observation. However, if I may be blunt, I find dusting a trifle difficult whilst engaged in such witty and insightful conversation. So if it's all the same to you, I suggest you gentlemen be on your way. Hey, wait a second. What kind of a butler are you anyway? For your information, no kind of butler at all. Are you blind, sir? Flux, look at him. I think he's a footman. What? So you're telling me a butler would be a great big... Right. Hm. We were just talking to a bird downstairs. He seemed a little flustered. Ah. You've had the misfortune of meeting Bric-a-Brac, our royal engineer. Bric-a-Brac seems to be having a bit of a problem. Allow me to go out on a limb, sir. Bric-a-Brac has lost his glasses. Yes, that's right. Uh, I don't suppose he has checked his pocket. Oh, I didn't ask. Hmm. Well, while I find the troubles of our engineer most fascinating, sir, in future I would prefer to focus my energies on more important matters such as the condition of my master's trophies. So what are all these trophies for, anyway? Aside from Dustin. Why, all sorts of things. First place in the Tribute to Hugh essay contest. Most likely to succeed. Best King of Qtopia. Best King of Qtopia? Yes, that one's quite an honor. It was bestowed by the King himself. Don't you... I think it's just a little bit funny that the king has proclaimed himself best king? Funny? May I inquire how many times you have been so honored? Well, none. But... Exactly. So please show our sovereign a little respect. And might I suggest in future you reserve jocularity for a more suitable subject matter, such as your combined IQ. Time for us to shove off. Then please, by all means, shove off, sir. Brick-a-brack, by any chance are your glasses in your pocket? I have no idea. I wish I had them right now. I think what Drew means is, look in your pocket! Oh! Okay! My glasses! I wonder who put them there. Say, do I know you? I'm Drew, and he's Flux. We're friends of King Hugh. We've come to help you with a cutifier. Wonderful! Welcome to Team Happy! <laughs> Let me show you what I've been working on. Gentlemen, this is the blueprint for Nefarious's Malevolator! Now then, you see the 12 things installed inside the ship's deck? The whistles, the dagger and whatnot? Well, they power Nefarious's Malevolation Beam! We need 12 things to power the beam on our machine. But so far, I've only been able to find one. Well, I guess a scavenger hunt for the missing parts shouldn't take too long. We already have the blueprint. At least we know what we need to get. Not that easy. Use the same 12 things 
get another malevolation beam. See? What we need are 12 different things. Things of a different nature. Things that will produce the reverse effect. Oh, right. You said you had one thing that worked? Why, yes, I do. Let's take another look, see, at the blueprint. The one thing that seems to work is sugar. It works when I put it right there, where the spice is in the Farius's machine. But why? I haven't a clue. Well, brick a brack we better go. The sooner we get those missing parts, the better for all of us. Wait, you'll be needing the Malevolator blueprint for reference. No. Oh. Now, where has it got to? Uh, you're still holding it, Wing Commander. Oh! Oh, that reminds me. I want to give you something that may help. A bottomless bag to carry all the parts in. Thank you, bric a -brac. Splendid! And please, feel free to come back here any time. We can install different things into the cutifier to see if they work, or we can just talk. Okay? Okay. Thank you, new friends, and good luck! Hi guys, I'm Drew Blank, and this is my friend, Flux Wildly. We're building a machine that's going to save Qtopia. We're secretly building a machine that's going to save Qtopia. Oh, jeez. These are the palace guards. You think they don't know what's going on? Building a machine? Qtopia? So, what exactly do you guys do around here? Let's show him, Sparky. Okie dokie, Chipper. Two, three, four. Bippity bip bip bippity ba. Bip boop bip boop bippity ba. Ya da da da. Diddly da. Ya da diddly diddly da. Skiddly diddly dippity do. Oops. That's our little hello dance. It even has a message. That's right. It means hello. Here's hoping it made your trip to the palace today just a tiny bit brighter. Yeah. Uh, thanks, guys. You don't have to thank us. Your smile is payment enough. Your dance routine is very interesting. It certainly left an interesting feeling in the pit of my stomach. Uh-oh. Want us to kiss it and make it better? No! Uh oh I think what he means is just the fact that you guys care is already making him feel better. Hip hip! Hooray! Gotta go! You guys are leaving already? We're gonna miss you, you know. You won't forget us, will ya? We'll certainly try. Hi again, guys. Look, our friends are back. Hip hip! Hooray! You guys must be in constant contact with King Hugh, right? Yes, indeedly do. Yes, sir, Uni. In that case, I wonder if you could help me. Of course! Helping you gives us yum-yum feelings all over! Right. Well, thing is, I've only met the king once, briefly. He was very kind to me, but I'd really like to know a little more about him. The inside story. What can you two tell me about his royal smiliness? Well, he's our king! And his name is Hugh! Hip hip! Hooray! That's it? That's it! Sure you don't need a pen and paper to write all that down? Boy, it sure has been a tough day. Hasn't it, Flux? Yes? Oh, we, we sure could use some cheering up. Mayday, Mayday! Our friends have the frownies. Quick, the dance. Oh no, wait, it hasn't been that tough. Two, three, four. Bippity bip bip bippity ba! Bip boop bip boop bippity ba! Ya da da da! Oh, looks like the little fellow's dropped something. Too bad. The door is locked. Do you think King Hugh wants us to stay out of there? Heck 
no. I've always viewed a locked door as an invitation. A locked door. Well, there's one problem solved. And 1,110 to go. Of course, that's only an estimate. Wow, a secret trap door! Drew, you're a genius! I mean, I think you're a genius. You were looking for a trap door, right? open a secret passage. I guess reorganizing your sock drawers can pay off after all. Hey, Flux, go stand on that loose floorboard for a second, okay? Sure, buddy. Whatever you say. <laughs> Flux, you did it! Wow, that was hard! The leap? The floor! Nice cover-up! In Qtopia, even an Irish pub is about as rowdy as a tea room. I don't know, Flux. I think that mouse over there would disagree with you. Look at him. Away with you! Looks like the place is a little livelier than you thought, buddy. Cool! <laughs> Can't seem to catch him. <laughs> Just too fast! Seem to catch him. It's just too fast. <laughs> Maybe I'll give the barman's organ a try. I'm sure he'll enjoy that.
Flux, go give that mousetrap a whack, would you? Check. Take that, you Wesley wouldn't. Well done, lad. Goodness me. You use the trap. I never meant for our wee pal to get popped. Oh, don't worry. As soon as we bend his skull back into shape, I'm sure he'll be just fine. Ugh, I suppose you're right. Perhaps that is for the best. Thank you, friends, for making me tavern a peaceful, happy place again. Oh, and without further ado, here's your reward, gentlemen. An old mug. That's our reward? I know. I know. It's maybe too much, isn't it? But please, take it, I insist. The both of you have earned it, so you have. Fox, what are we gonna do with this piece of junk? I got a few ideas. Looks like this is the one that got away. Whoops. I guess that's King Hugh's little way of saying... Don't take my trophies, you miserable thieves! Perfect. It's Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun in a big hurry. Maybe she's late for a very important date. Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun, I presume? That's me! <laughs> How are you today, Fluffy? I'm fuzzy and fluffy and cute and cuddly, and I just couldn't be happier. <gasps> Oopsie, I just told an itty bitty fib. You see, ever since that bad, bad Mr. Nefarious started messing up Utopia with his nasty machine, I've been just an eensy bit cranky. That nasty man is ruining! Just look at my meadow! Nasty, nasty, nasty! It's just not fair! Oh, golly! Listen to me! I'm being a great big grouchy pants! I should be welcoming you! Welcome, welcome! Well, uh, thanks so much. No! Thank you! I love to make special new friends! Oh boy, is it a beautiful day! I guess Nefarious' attacks have you pretty shaken up. Golly, yes, but it gets much, much worse! You see, some bunny gave me this cotton candy to cheer me up. But I prefer popcorn! What did I do to deserve this? I'm just a perky, cute little bunny with shiny soft fur. Why me? Why me? Right. So, Fluffy, what exactly do you do around here, anyway? Do? Why, my job is being the cutest little bunny in the whole wide world. My big bunny ears are cute. My little bunny bottom is cute. Why, even my teeny little poops are cute. Hooray! Hooray for me! And I'm sure... Those teeny little poops smell better than flowers, right? Do they ever? Wanna sniff my sweet fluffy bottom? Hey, guess what? No! 
Do you know King Hugh? Oh, yes. I just love Huey. He's so good and wise and happy and good looking. Good looking? Of course. Every bunny is good looking in their own special way, even you. <laughs> That's nice. Nice is my specialty. <laughs> so, Fluffy, what's so bad about cotton candy anyway? Well, gee, nothing at all, I guess. Except that I hate cotton candy! Oh! My poor little tummy! Whoa! Considering what Nefarious has done to this meadow, I guess we should be thankful he didn't hit us. You know, I think we have my lucky charm to thank for that. Oh? A charm? <laughs> oh, it's just the little rabbit's foot I carry around with me. <laughs> Flux. Don't worry, I know he was just trying to say something nice. Like how bunnies are lucky and lovable and good to have around. Otherwise, he wouldn't have said anything at all. Well, Fluffy, I'm afraid we have to go. Oh, boo! It's always sad to see friends leave. Oh, well. Oh, I'd like to give the whole world a great big Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun hug, wouldn't you? Sure, I guess. But you can't, cause you're in a Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun! <laughs> For which I am eternally grateful. Hello? Drew? What do you think you're doing? Well, I, I thought maybe, you know... You thought this rag-clad bundle of straw was alive, didn't you? No. Well, okay, maybe I did. It's not like I haven't seen weirder stuff. <laughs> oh, 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 Drew. Even in my world, the Scarecrow is just a... Hello? Scarecrow. You were saying... Hey, did one of you minxes call me a rag-clad bundle of straw? Or did that all happen in some beastly dream? I don't know. Dreams are the strangest things, aren't they? I had this simply divine one the other day. I was floating high above the world, the wind gently cradling and caressing me as I gracefully swooped and pirouetted in the air. Oh, and through all of it, I was wearing this teal chiffon scarf that was to die for. Oh, it can be really quite devastating. Waking up from a dream like that, can it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, Mr. Scarecrow, what are you doing here? Just, uh, hanging around? Uh, hardly. If you must know, I'm watching over my babies. Your babies? The crows, darling, the crows. Uh, you might want to take another look at your job description. As far as I know, scarecrows are supposed to scare crows. For your information, I am not a scarecrow. I am a carecrow. Who do you think cares for all the little birds? Florence Nightingale? Mm, yeah, sounds about right. And take it from me, bullying birds is one thing. But it takes a much stronger sort to look after them. Why, the wear and tear from throwing seed alone. Just look at these hands. Are these the hands of the idol? I don't think so, sailor. <sighs> well, I suppose it's the price I pay for not wearing rubber gloves. But have you seen the gaudy colors those things come in? Yuck. No, thank you. I'd rather my hands fell off at the sleeve than be caught wearing those fashion faux pas. I know, I'm terrible, aren't I? So I gather you don't get to the palace much. You gather right, honey. But I do have an occasional chat-see with King Hugh. That poor, poor man. I really feel for the guy. It must be rough having your kingdom come under attack. Oh, you big silly. That's the least of his troubles. I mean, just look at his ensemble. Huh? Those baggy royal robes. Ugh, I just cringe. I mean, you'd think a monarch could afford a tailor. Now, if I were king, 
Having impeccable dress sense would be mandatory for all my subjects. Needless to say, I'd lead by example. And believe you me, I'd get tough on those who continue to show poor taste in their wardrobes. I'd rule with a moisturized fist in a cherry velvet glove. Oh, <laughs> what a darling little world that would be, don't you think? Sure, a fashion dictatorship headed up by a straw man? Sounds swell. Well, I have to say, you are the smartest dressing scarecrow. I mean, scarecrow, I've ever met. Oh, you are a sweetheart, aren't you? Oh, I dig the cloak. It's Trey. Uh, good. This old thing? Hate it. I call it Cape Fear. It's not like I had any choice in the matter, you know? I'd give anything for a nice new outfit. Actually, I'd give this cloak. I'm afraid it's all I've got. I don't suppose you boys could find it in your hearts? Oh, but no, what am I saying? I've crossed the line. I'm asking much too much. I suppose we could help you out. Really? Would you? Am I hearing what I think I'm hearing? We're going clothes shopping for a scarecrow. Tell you what, you give us a cloak and we'll get you a nice sport coat or something. A sport coat? How positively dismal! No, this has to be the right outfit. I want something I can wear all day long and all year round, but it doesn't have to be out of this world. I don't want to have a hair out of place, nothing too sappy, and not too many bells and whistles. I don't want a big top, and definitely no cross-dressing. Got that? Uh, sure. I know exactly the outfit you need. Yeah, so do I. A straight jacket. It must be kind of lonely for a sociable guy like yourself hanging around in this empty cornfield. Yeah, I mean, face it. You could probably talk the ears off a corn stalk. Well, you fellas certainly have my number. I do like a good chin wag. Chatting with you is so much fun. I'm having a ball. I feel I could tell you two anything, everything, and you'd understand. Oh, good. Don't get me wrong, I love my babies. Bless their little feathered hearts. But I'm afraid gossiping with them is a bit of a one-way street, if you know what I mean. To their credit, they are good listeners. And that's very important, as we all know. I mean, don't you just want to scream when you get stuck with someone who goes on and on and on and doesn't let you get a word in edgeways? Yes! Well, we gotta be going. All right, boys. But don't forget about your friend the Carecrow. Be sure to keep me posted. As if I wasn't already. We're back. Well, if it isn't the dynamic duo. Nice to see you boys again. So if we bring you a new outfit, you'll give us your cloak, right? Honey, for a new outfit, I'll give you my cloak and sing Act Two of West Side Story. Thanks, but we'll just stick with the cloak. So, how does a nice Parker sound? A parka? What are you trying to do? Kill me with humiliation? Slay me with dreariness? Oh, the hideous monotony! I can't breathe! Okay, no parka. Now, what should we bring you? I told you. I want something I can wear all day long and all year round, but it doesn't have to be out of this world. I don't want to have a hair out of place, nothing too sappy, and not too many bells and whistles. I don't want a big top, and definitely no cross-dressing. Well, at least he isn't picky. King Hugh has been very kind to me, despite the fact that I'm a stranger to these parts. Oh yes, he's a darling! But he should really try venturing out into the great outdoors a little more often, don't you think? I mean, that yellow complexion of his just doesn't scream healthy to me! I, on the other hand, get plenty of fresh air and sunlight! In fact, a little too much sunlight. That's why I wear this hat. Not only is it a must accessory, it also protects my hair from sun damage. Between you and me, my hair can get so dried out and unmanageable. It's like straw. But it is like straw. Well, thank you. So long. Oh, I can't stand it. I just hate goodbyes. I'm sure it wouldn't hurt if I just took one. A barn. Hello, ladies! Psst, Drew, let me handle this. I'm a whiz with foreign languages. <clears throat> no! Mama Vito! Hubba hubba, ring-a-ding-ding, cowabunga! Are you? 
speaking to us? Do you? Oh, you must want some butter. I'm terribly sorry, but there isn't any more. None at all. Butter? No, we... You see, the churnitron is broken. <laughs> but... Hey, no big deal. I know how upset you must be. Without butter, life is barely worth living. All of Qtopia mourns my pure, sweet, creamery butter. Unhappy day. Unhappy day. But we will soldier on. And you must, as well. Courage. Say, aren't you ladies supposed to be on all fours? <gasps> of all the nerve! <gasps> oh my goodness! No, 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 that's, that's not what I meant. Really, really, it's not. It's just that, in my world, uh, forget it. Uh, I, I, I'm really sorry, I, I didn't mean to offend you. Well, anyone with the good manners to apologize is welcome in our stable. By the way, my name is Drew, and this here is Flux. Goodness me, where are my manners? I'm Marge, and this is Polly. And this machine is my lifelong friend and partner, the Chernatron. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. So, uh, what exactly happened to the Chernatron anyway? I'm afraid it may have broken down from simple overuse. I do so enjoy making butter. One minute it was working fine, churning away. Then all of a sudden a metal thingamabob flew off. We looked everywhere, but we couldn't find it. If only we had a way of getting that part. Without it, my life is meaningless. You know, Marge, meaning, purpose, all that stuff is overrated. Hell, just ask Flux here. His life is completely pointless, and he's loving every minute of it. You bet your sweet bippy. As a revered Zanian philosopher once said, those who seek meaning in their lives are... What the... Ah! He was run over by a runaway ice cream truck before completing his last work. But for all us Sanians, there is profound meaning to be found in his senseless, untimely death. I know what you're trying to do, and I thank you. You're good people. But I'm afraid for a domesticated bovine. Life is empty when you have a sack full of souring milk. Amen. The horse seems a little quiet. Elmer? Yes, Elmer's special. Special? You know, it's a nice silo, but it isn't holding any grain, if you grasp my meaning. <sighs> no grain. Grain? I just figured he was a total retard or something. Sorry, ladies. Flux is special. He suffers from foot and mouth disease, if you grasp my meaning. <laughs> huh? Did you say the Trinitron was broken? Yes. I'm afraid the poor thing is on the fritz, and has been for quite some time. Oh, it seems like an eternity since my last milking. I don't mind telling you that my rosy red swollen udders are in desperate need of a good suck-suck-sucking from old Journey here. Actually, I mind you telling me that. You see, we were a team. Together, we made the sweetest, purest butter in all of Qtopia. Without my partner in cream, all I have left are my memories. Look, I'm sure it's a real shame about Mr. Suck Suck here, but there's more to life than butter. Right, Drew? All right. I mean, you've got this quaint little barn to live in and all the hay you could ever want and... and... Uh, Flux? Did we mention this lovely barn? Ooh, besides, you could have a career in the beef business. A short one, of course. It's sweet of you to try to cheer us up. But butter is my life. Until the Chernatron is fixed, things just won't be the same. So long, ladies. We have to move along. Move along? Get it? That's a very bad joke. Are they... Making fun of us? Of course not, Polly. These are our friends. Whew. Comments like that make me feel like I'm about three feet high. You are about three feet high. Cool. For a second there, I thought I developed a conscience. <laughs> oh, yuck.
The door to the squirrel's treehouse. That's a Malevolandian briar patch. Hedium thornius et ouchum. A nasty looking squirrel. I don't think the squirrel will let me do that. Ah. Look, Drew, it's Zany Doo. That's where I live. <laughs> 